soon in just a few days we don't have any midnight sun anymore hi and welcome back to svalbard the island close to the north pole where the sun shines for 24 hours per day for four months but finally this season is coming to an end my name is cecilia and if you haven't hung out with me before hello and welcome if you have welcome back It's wild that this summer is almost over. Life here in our cabin has been great. Maybe a little bit sunny though. We really need to get our curtain situation sorted for next year. I've spent a few more days helping out at my old job and I've really enjoyed it. There's something very nice about getting ready and kind of stepping back into society for a bit. To be honest, as much as I love having this as my job, YouTube being this, it's quite isolating. Go. I'm a little bit late. Well, no, I'm right on time. Today I'm going all beige. I was gonna wear a skirt, and then I decided on beige pants. Okay, I've actually had some breakfast. I've had coffee. I feel ready to go. My hair is a mess today. I think I'm just gonna do that. We're done. Okay, 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 okay. I miss a few aspects of the jobs that I had before, like getting dressed up and meeting people daily. I knew that being a content creator would require long days in front of my computer at home, but I completely forgot about those regular things like having lunch with a coworker or, you know, just having coworkers. So I think I need to get better at having lunch in the village and getting myself out of my cabin a little bit more often on work days. So going to do a few shifts at the clothing store Frost here and there is ideal. I think that if I were to apply for a job in town, I would maybe go back full time to Frost or I would apply at one of the hotels for a front desk position. I worked a lot at hotels before and thought it was so much fun. But right now I am enjoying being able to live off being a content creator and having the freedom that comes with it. I have had quite a few jobs while living here in Longyearbyen. When I first moved up here, I worked as a booking manager at one of the restaurants for about two years. After that, I worked at my friend's travel agency. Then I was at this clothing store for about a year. And then I started working at the school at the same time and was there for about a year. And now here I am. I am a full-time content creator. If you want to move to Longyearbyen, it's not mandatory at all jobs to speak a Scandinavian language, though it can be a plus. You can get employment within the tourism sector at a hotel or a restaurant with just English. Also at the university, I know that they have a lot of English speaking staff. A regular wage is around 30,000 Norwegian kroners monthly before tax, and we pay 16% in taxes monthly. I often get questions regarding if people can live off of their wage, considering food is quite expensive. And yeah, if you find decent housing, that is no problem. Since we have a housing shortage up here, getting an apartment will probably be the most difficult thing to get sorted. You can expect to pay between 9,000 to 14,000 for a one bedroom apartment in Longyearbyen. Every time I'm here, I buy lunch at Fruvien. So today we have a sandwich with chicken curry. Look at this. There's not a lot of lunch that I can buy here, but these sandwiches are nice. So it's the perfect choice. It's also like, what time is it? It's almost two. I'm staying till four. It's been quite busy. You know what? Today is an absolutely incredible evening. It's about 10 p.m. right now. And this is the warmest I've felt the sun in a really long time. 
I think it's because it's been really stormy for like a week. So now that the sun's here again, it's kind of like, wow. But still, soon in just a few days, we don't have any midnight sun anymore. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited about that. <laughs> Even though this is absolutely gorgeous, it's just so tiring. What's so cool is also that we now can see the first snow for the season. So the snow has started to lay on the mountaintops and that's always kind of like the first signs of proper autumn. The fall is on its way, it's almost here. The tundra is also turning orange, you know. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. And also the whales have returned. We always see beluga whales quite early in the season, but when the fin whales and the bigger whales start coming here, you know it is almost August. Wait, what? It's September, almost. Oh, that is so exciting. So now that we soon have a sunset, that doesn't mean that it goes from super light to dark in a day. It, it only means that the sun on that day, I think it's the 26th, the sun will dip below the horizon and then it'll go back up again. So that day is just as bright as this. And then for every day that passes, it gets about 30 to 40 minutes uh, darker. But so the days after that, it's going to be just like this as bright for maybe a week and a half. And then we'll start feeling that it's a little bit more nighttime when we have like two to three hours of actual sun below the horizon. The seasons are so intense and all consuming here. In Sweden, we have a word called lagom, which doesn't really translate to English, but it means just enough. Svalbard is the opposite of lagom. <laughs> Svalbard goes all in. Summer and sunshine, sure, here you go, four months. <laughs> This season isn't my favorite, just because the sun is quite draining after a while, but I'm not trying to complain about it, I'm merely reflecting over how it makes me feel. All the extreme seasons on Svalbard is what makes this life so exciting, one extreme to the next. Summer is also equally as beautiful as it is bright. The fact that I can stand on my deck and watch the whales in the fjord feed right outside our cabin is nothing short of magical. Filming the whales with my drone turned out to be not as easy as I thought. They were about one kilometer out in the fjord and every time I got to them I had only a few seconds before they dove back down and came up for air 500 meters away in another direction. <laughs> but what an incredible moment. The whales I saw are fin whales I believe. Someone also said they might well be blue whales. They were beautiful nonetheless. This summer, the fjords have been full of fin whales, blue whales, humpbacks, belugas, and even white beaked dolphins. All of these are common sightings here on Svalbard, and Svalbard is a really good place for whale watching. One thing that we don't see that often are orcas. They rarely make the trip this far north, but once in a while they do. Can you just see how golden everything looks? And it's going to get even more orange, just, just kind of like that 
time when everything switches from very yellow and green to orange and burnt orange and red and some of my favorite fall colors. The ocean is so blue right now. Everything looks incredibly saturated. It's gonna look like I put a filter on here. Today is wild. I should be in bed. <laughs> this is just standard practice by now. It's impossible to not feel a sense of just pure calm here. Let's look at Christopher on the boat. I think we can zoom in quite close, maybe. Let's check, he's over there. warm in here. <laughs> I'm gonna die in my clothes. But it's cute. Okay, now I'm just gonna make everything ready to open. And then I'm gonna go buy a coffee. This is what I'm wearing, but it's way too hot. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but it's so cute. Okay, I found another outfit. I'm gonna put it on now. Cause it's also really good to work in the clothes while here, that are here. So I'm gonna do that. That's a good excuse. Okay, let's change from this to the new outfit. It's pretty cute. I kind of like this skirt, but this one doesn't really work with this in the back. Or does it? We've had a change of outfit. So I like this. It's very comfortable. I think I'm going to keep that. And also, I never wear t-shirts. And this is the first time I've found a t-shirt that I absolutely love. I need a longer sleeve. Oh. So... And also, I've realized that there's something wrong with the pipes here. That's why it's 40 degrees. <laughs> so, like, there was nothing to do about this. I had to change. So far, this has been, like, a meet and greet. I've met tons of you guys. <laughs> and I just think it's so funny. It's a really good way to say hi to everyone. I just bought a latte for me and Julie, who's in Arctic, who's my friend. So it's a good day today. I've also already found like six other things that I want, but I think I'm just gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna go shopping. I want a green pair of corduroy pants. <laughs> Living my best life. I had a great day in the store and then suddenly it was the 25th of August and it was time for the first sunset. What's quite cool is that on the 25th of August, we have two sunsets in one day. At 12.30, the sun sets. It then rises again at 1.31, so about one hour later. Then the same day at 11.56 p.m., the sun sets again. Every day after that gets about 20 to 40 minutes darker per day. We then have around one month of regular day and night. And on the 27th of October, the sun sets for the last time this year, leaving us in our polar night. And as always, I am beyond excited about it. After endless sun-kissed evenings, we can now look forward to cozy hours at the cabin, northern lights and seeing the stars again. I haven't seen the stars for months. So stick around, subscribe, the most magical time of year is around the corner. And as always, I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Bye!